This is five gardening tips from a farmer. With friends. Number one, to take a plant out of the pot, only press the bottom of the pot. It'll come out clean. Number two. Rosemary can be easily propagated through cuttings. Number three. You can plant crab apples near your apple tree to increase pollination rates. Number four. Mulch your acelias in pine bark mulch. Number five. You can grow bananas in containers. It actually keeps the banana from spreading out and taking over your whole yard. This is five gardening tips from a farmer. Number one. Pick some of your male squash flowers for a tasty treat, but make sure to leave the female flowers to ripen. Number two. Invest in a motorized sprayer to save your shoulder. Simply turn on and spray. Number three. Patty pan squash is a great squash to add to your summer squash lineup. Number four. Grow a determinate cucumber for pickling so they'll all be ready at the same time. Number five. Avocado trees can be beautiful when incorporated into landscaping. Happy National Gardening Day. This is five gardening tips from a farmer. Number one. Wire panels make great trellises. Number two. If you're only growing a few tomatoes, use one stake per plant for support. Number three. Malabar spinach is an absolutely delicious, heat tolerant summer green. Number four. Most brassicas like kale taste the best on a cool morning. So adjust your harvest based on the weather. Number five. A hula ho or stir up ho is an extremely effective weeding tool. Want to grow your own blueberries at home? Grab a decent sized pot like 30 gallon. Make a 50-50 mix of a sandier growing soil and pine bark mulch. Plant your blueberry in the 50-50 mixture with four to six inches from the top left for your 100% pine bark mulch. Now this container will dry out quickly, so make sure to provide adequate water. And don't forget to enjoy. Have you ever wondered the easiest way to propagate new strawberry plants? First, locate the runner of your existing plant. To maximize fruit production, you would normally remove this, but to make new plants, you want to keep it. At the end of the runner, you'll find the daughter plant, and when you see the daughter plant is starting to grow roots, it's time to propagate. If your strawberry plant's growing in a container, then grab another container to put beside it. Poke a small hole just big enough for the daughter plant's root system to fit in. Lightly cover and give it time, and after a couple of weeks, the daughter plant will be rooted strongly enough that you can clip the runner. If your plants are growing in the ground, oftentimes the daughter plants will just root themselves. This is five more gardening tips from a farmer. Number one, putting a wide flat lip on your raised beds makes a great seat and could save your back when pulling weeds. Number two, to check to see if a watermelon's ripe, locate the tendril closest to the fruit. Once the tendril has turned brown, dry, and crunchy, your watermelon's almost ready. Number three, don't plant everything at one time. Try succession planting. For things like lettuce, plant in weekly intervals so you can harvest in weekly intervals. Number four, mix radish seeds in when you seed your carrots. They germinate faster, so when you see the radishes, you'll know you're watering adequately. Number five. When transplanting smaller plugs, make yourself a dibble stick. A dibble stick can be used to punch your holes in the soil. Just be cautious when working in soils that are prone to compaction. Five plants that grow great in containers. Number one. Lettuce. Number two. Ginger. Number three. Tomatoes. Number four. Potatoes. Number five onions this is five more gardening tips from a farmer number one plant your tomatoes deep to encourage advantageous root growth number two when putting your transplants in the ground make sure to do it in the morning or the evening to reduce transplant stress number three make a note on what varieties you planted where you planted them and whether they did well or not and then look back at that list next year Number four, when starting seeds, use a high quality potting mix that'll retain moisture. Number five, plant your onions dense to conserve space and reduce weed pressure. 